time of day it is. It's Jiro Chelsea Fia. And you already know I'm back at it again with another makeup tutorial. Yes, yes, yes. I know I've been MIA. It's just because like I was just like in like in this funk of me making YouTube videos. I wasn't satisfied with the content I was making and I don't know, I just really needed a break from YouTube to really gather myself together and you know really think of what I can do to accumulate views because I want to be noticed on this YouTube thing like you know what I'm saying I want to bring out a message to everyone women of color you know got girls and guys that just have a passion of makeup and I don't know like I don't know if like I don't I don't like how I'm not being seen on YouTube like I feel like I deserve to have so many views and just have so many people watch me and love my work because I really take my whole hearted time in making these videos for you guys because I love doing what I do like even if I don't get paid on YouTube I just want the views like I just want people to see my work and my craft so I just really need like some time to think about all of that and just ask God just for you know recognition you know what I'm saying <laughs> like hopefully you guys get what I'm saying but you know I'm back and the video ideas are just coming and flowing and it's gonna be a fun time like especially this video right here I literally use the new NARS radiant natural radiant is it natural yeah natural radiant long wear foundation um, you, you guys see my review on that one and I created this nice sultry type of you know i uh, going on with the pop of color on the inner corner this screams like spring to me because i think of like nice and fresh colors with the purples and the blues and you know sometimes yellow maybe that will be another look um but yeah if you want to know how to get this look or watch me achieve this look then keep on watching all right all right all right so fresh face nothing on not even eyebrows Let's just get on to the whole tutorial step by step, y'all. Okay? <laughs> yeah. So, I'm going to do my eyes first, even though it's literally, like, the most simplest eye makeup ever. I, I just like to do my eyes first, okay? And I'm using my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn. I switched to Fawn. I don't use Toffee anymore because Fawn is yellow. I never realized it was this yellow on my skin tone and I love a yellow under eye. So Fawn is the way to go. And I also don't set my concealer with translucent powder. Shout out to Daisy Marquez because it, it's, it, it does wonders for your girl, okay? So it's just... It, it changed the game. It changed. It will change your life. It will change your life. So I'm going to conceal my eyes. And we'll start with the eyeshadow. Okay, so for my transition, I'm going to start off with this color. If you are a lighter skin tone, you know, just find a color that is lighter to this. You know, I got to start with some dark colors. Because that's what I do. I'm just going to go with my new favorite blending brush the BH Cosmetic 5 from like the crystal type of set and you know grab some product and start blending so basically with this technique that you're not since you don't set your concealer with translucent powder or your eyeshadow powder with translucent powder you just you basically want to go like tapping motions and slowly blend it to your eye like literally you can see that by doing this very gently with a very light hand the pigment is literally out of this world i don't even have to do anything like anything like and it's just it looks like i did blending for like 10 minutes on one eye like it's just so freaking good so good now i'm gonna use this shade right here just to lighten up the transition shade we use the if you were uh you if you set your um concealer with translucent powder you initially go with this shade and then 
go with this shade for your second color but we're basically going backwards and that's how you're gonna get that seamless blend and that pigmentation you know I just followed the steps um, like how Nikki tutorials did it how she originally does her eye makeup um, I've been recently doing that I was always wondering like oh my god why does she do that and then since I've discovered that Daisy Marquette doesn't you know set her um, eyes with translucent powder that's how I pulled those two techniques together and made my own technique I guess I don't know <laughs> but yeah let's just apply that on see my K17 brush from Cara Beauty now I'm grabbing these two dark shades right here did I mention I'm using the Jaclyn Hill palette yikes <laughs> but I'm just gonna grab it with my little itty bitty crease brush the K39 is it <laughs> and I'm gonna do like a liner effect so basically I'm just brushing these two shades like how I do a liner yeah let me just use my defining brush first then I'll blend it out with this bad boy okay. first grab a defining brush and then grab the product and then apply it on like your applying liner I think I have to use black I'm not sure but let, let me start it with this for now Okay, I'm grabbing a little bit of black from the Jacqueline palette, that dark type of gray color. Not too black. So, I'm just roughly doing this because I'm literally gonna blend it out with the K39 brush. So you can roughly do this. You don't have to properly be precise. Now I'm just gonna blend it with that little itty bitty crease brush. All right, all right, all right. Okay. <laughs> so, let's see, let's see, let's see what this shade we want to use. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, I have my Cara Beauty ESO8, you know, my favorite purple, brown, in-between palette. And I'm going to grab a mixture of this bad boy and this bad boy. This one and this one. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm lightly just applying it on my crease. Like basically, I just, you know, I can't really use my finger since I have all this nail going on. But like, I'm just applying it gently on my crease with a brush and then I'm gonna try to blend the rest out with my finger. So it looks like I just basically use like a pigment and then just pat it on, on my lid whoa this actually looks good because like usually i wouldn't do this type of like eye technique because i'm more of like the cut crease and all of that you know but this is totally out of my comfort zone and i love it and it just looks like you can wear this every day ah! <laughs> i'm just blending out like the little smoky liner that we have because we don't want it too harsh maybe i should have even added the black but I kind of like it at the end anyways <laughs> so you know me I'm decisive and I'm just blending everything together if you don't want black you can skip it just say <laughs> all of my total lashes are like more dramatic on the dramatic side so i have these car beauty lashes in the number 205s Ooh, the lashes just completed this look tremendously <laughs> okay so let me do my brows or whatever and we can start with the face <sighs> the best part time for face i'm gonna quickly prime with my two favorite concoctions the wet and wild photo focus face primer and my aoa studio um wonder skin manifesting primer wow i actually got the name right so yeah i'm so excited i finally got a new foundation not even just any foundation a high-end foundation that I pay with my own money <laughs> I'm so corny I literally got the new 
NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation and I'm in the shade New Catalina. I literally matched myself at Sephora because I had, you know, some difficulties in the past when the Sephora girls be matching my ass <laughs> and usually they will be matching me to gray. Like my Lancome foundation, it's light and gray on me and I don't know why. <laughs> but oh my god, look at this beauty. So freaking good. <laughs> but let's just apply this bad boy on. You already know I got that pump and all that jazzy jazz. So we gotta shake it. Okay. <laughs> and people say that um, this foundation is like more thicker in a sense because like the sheer glow and the luminous one is like more liquidy. So I'm just saying because I never tried both of them. So in the reviews I've watched and all that. So you already know I blend my foundation all the time with my flat top kabuki brush and I'm basically doing stipply motions. Ooh, the coverage is, is there. That's good because I've been getting a lot of dark spots around my mouth area uh, mostly on the on my left side and literally you don't even see it and I just I didn't even blend it out that well yet now I blend it like you don't even see it and I don't use corrector or anything oh wow this actually whoa this is actually nice coverage I thought they were just playing cuz I wow no, I'm being so serious, like, I'm not tripping, I'm not tripping, I'm not doing it for the camera. This is actually nice coverage. Let's see if we'll cover this pimple that I scraped on my forehead, like, literally. I love this foundation, and it's such a perfect match. I'm so happy, Jesus. <laughs> This is gonna be my new face foundation, and I'm so mad because I wasted $50 on this, but it's okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, I absolutely love it. Yo. Okay, okay, let's stop. Let's just get on with the, let's finish this tutorial, let's finish this tutorial. Okay, so you already know if you try a new NARS foundation or just be wearing NARS foundation, you have to wear the concealer. So I grabbed the concealer as well, and I grabbed the shade Truffle. It was between Caramel, I think, and Truffle, because Caramel is yellow, but it'll be too light on me, so you know, I have to simmer down a little bit and grab Truffle. But you know, Truffle's still nice and yellow, so I'm gonna apply that girl on. And also, Truffle and Caramel are new shades. Just a little FYI. <laughs> the downfall about both foot if I'm saying it right, applicators, is that like, to me, it doesn't grab, it doesn't distribute a lot of product the way I want it to. You know what I'm saying? But this concealer color, ooh, child. <laughs> ooh, child. Ooh, I love it. Just gonna blend it with my beauty blender, you already know. I'm gonna let my under eye sit because that's what I like to do. Literally, the concealer blend on my forehead fine, but my chin wants to be an ass and I'll blend. Like, it's so freaking annoying. It always happens with all my concealer sometimes. It's just one of those days. But, like, literally, this thing blends like a dream, so. I already know the concealer is good and the color is even magnificently better. <laughs> so, I'm not complaining. It's just my forehead wants to be a bitch. Literally. Got to freaking fix that. I said my forehead, my chin. As I let my concealer sit on my under eyes, I'm just gonna quickly, you know, cream contour with my black opal contour stick. This is literally the last high end product from Sephora that I'm using right now. The rest is like all my shit <laughs> that I that I like to buy because it's cheap. I'm just gonna set my eyes with my Laura Mercier. And of course, I'm setting my whole face with my Faces Cosmetic Dual Powder. <sighs> Ooh, let's see if it does any justice with this foundation. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 
my face literally is like so smooth right now like I'm, I'm, I'm being so dead ass like for some reason this month alone my face has just been breaking out and I literally I'm on my period right now like I just got it today it's Sunday so I know TMI for you little ickies <laughs> but you know it's, it's life like what do you expect <laughs> and my face like my skin is just oh it's really it's really it's really getting out of your girl so this foundation just made my face literally look like I I woke up like this like this is my like this is my skin this is my joint if you hear the vacuum I'm very sorry you know it's life but let's just finish with the eyes I'm literally just gonna sweep you know the this shade right here on my lower lash line and I think that's it I won't do anything too crazy I'm just gonna put um, this shade these two shades that I use on the outer corner on the outer corner of my lower lash line just lightly nothing too crazy just to make just to have some little definition okay so for my inner corner highlight I'm gonna use this shade right here from the palette I want it to go really pop of color but still wearable you know what I mean I'm not gonna set my um I'm not gonna spray my brush because literally this shit is so pigmented or on its own I don't want it to be overpowering For mascara, I'm using the CoverGirl So Lashy Mascara in the color Jet Black. I literally just picked, I literally picked this up at TJ Maxx for like three dollars. And when I went to Walmart, I think they were selling it for like six or nine dollars, something like that. And I was like, wow, it's the same thing. Like TJ Maxx. And they be selling Anastasia Kevlon D2 face makeup too. Like my TJ Maxx and the bronze, it's there's there's not there's nothing there. Like hardly. But like they be selling it. It's, it's, it's cool. Okay. I wanna I wanna why can I not get that too? So yeah, but look at the wand though. It's cute. Okay, this is approved. Actually makes my lower lashes look like lashes. So yeah, that's good. I like it. Now back to the face. You already know I'm using my Provision Studio Contour Palette. Right here, these two shades. Like what else is new? Don't know, how about you? Mm -mm. I'm gonna contour any further like shows on all my cheeks and stuff i want to keep it very light you know nice and sun-kissed glowy radiant fresh <laughs> so let's just go with blush i don't even know what blush to use and then i'm just gonna use my hand dandy trusty coral blush from bible glitz like whatever i'm doing like an everyday type of look or like this type of eye look this blush goes to handy. If you are lighter skin toned, you already know like Luminol So for Milani would do you justice. Any type of coral peach blush, like it's it's an everyday staple. Like I'm telling you. So I'm just applying that on my rosy cheeks. For highlighter, I'm using my Wet a Wild Better of Glow highlighting powder in the shade Proud of My Canopy. I wanna I wanna feel a little golden today. And I'm lightly putting it on today, you know, just make my cheekbones literally look like natural skin within <laughs> type of glow. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> yeah, I already know, gotta doll myself up or whatnot. Yeah. And last but not least, it's time for lips. I'm gonna line my lip. <laughs> I'm gonna line my lips with the nut. Oh, wow, I can't speak. Okay, sorry, don't. I'm gonna line my lips with the NYX uh, suede matte lip liner in the shade Club Hopper. I recently just picked this up, so it's like my first time trying Frank Life of Nails. 
it's my first time trying um, a NYX liner, so. And I'm just using my same old, same old Morphe lipstick and the shade Jealousy because it's nice and it's like a nice muted pink nude that I have. I'm only applying mainly to the center. And for a little glossy gloss, I've been using this CoverGirl Lip Lava. Oh my god, I saw I picked it up at BitLots, like in upstate. And it's so freaking glittery like ah. I really put it on the center of my lips like oh, look at that and it does freaking wonders oh my god and this lip combination mm -mm. you better watch out because whoo child I am ready for spring like this is like my baggy type of spring makeup with a nice flawless skin and nice fresh wet type of looking eyes i'm talking too much because we are literally done with the look so yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to give it a big 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 thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow all my social medias i'll be down in the description yes 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 Ooh, child <laughs> if you already know what type of day it is it's your girl chelsea Afia. peace